So Facebook just keeps getting bigger and bigger. They have this whole section of groups and you can create a group. Why should you create a group and what would be the benefit? So I got this email uh, from a business associate slash client slash friend of mine. Uh, I, I created my first group on Facebook and invited him because we are now working together uh, to establish a local chapter uh, based around a business book. And he said, why Facebook? Why not just add a link to the website or why shouldn't we just point to the website and, and tell people that's where you should go for this group to get more people to join and work together. I said, the goal of a Facebook group is to have a centralized location for potential and existing members to meet and plan because Facebook makes it so easy. It's just, uh. I said, this will also serve to raise awareness that there is a local group. Uh, and I said, just for the sheer numbers, I'm sure that there are more business people uh, visiting Facebook every day than visiting this book author's website. So it's in our best interest to publicize this group. So what I'm going to do is take you through uh, Facebook. So here we are on the Facebook homepage. So there are a lot of areas of information. You get your news feed, where you see what people are, are up to. Uh, you got status updates, photos, all this. We're going directly over to the groups on the right under applications. And I'm going to show you the power of this. Let's say we start off, we want to find people who know about a piece of software we use. And most businesses in the United States use a little piece of software called QuickBooks. So let's plug that in. And here we go. The first one is the official QuickBooks small business online community. There's 513 members. So, and there's seven new members. So I bet that the joining this group would offer a wealth of information if you have questions about QuickBooks. So rather than, and you know, QuickBooks has online forums. They, you can also call them, you can submit support tickets, but how great would that be to find like-minded people who also are using the software and probably have been through the same problem as you. It's not just for that. Let's do animals, right? So a lot of people have pugs or some people have puggles. Well, let's just do pugs. Let's say you're like, I really like my pug, except he sometimes gets infections between his toes. Uh, Bluey is a chihuahua and she doesn't get infections between her toes. But let's just say that's what you're looking for. Well, here we go. There's over 500 groups. Now, an another nice feature of Facebook for these groups is you can actually search by networks. Uh, at the top here, it says show results from all networks. Well, instead, I can switch to just Minneapolis. Let's say you're trying to f meet people locally and maybe get together or have someone look at your, your pug's toe fungus issue. Well, in this case, it says there are no local groups for pugs, but you can see how you could use this to narrow things down. Uh, I'll go ahead and type in one more general keyword. I'm just going to type in business, right? So let's say you are getting started as an entrepreneur and you know, you're looking for other people to connect with. Maybe you're looking for resources for your business, like a good accountant, for example, right? And you want to hear uh, who other people are using. All right, well, here, if we go here, the first group is the Twin Cities Business Networking. There's 31 members. If we scroll down a little bit, Minnesota Entrepreneurs and Business People. There's 13 members, and there's one new one. So just like that, uh, you can go ahead and find other like-minded people. So it's good for... Um, not just uh, finding answers, but meeting with people. Once you're in a group, uh, then you will be notified when there are events. And these events could occur in person, they could occur online. Um, also, people can post uh, images, they can post uh, comments. Uh, so it, it's really nice to join some of these groups because you will get value and you can also add back, of course. So I want to make a quick video and explain that. So as always, keep the questions coming and I will always attempt to answer them honestly and accurately. Thanks.